I was reminded by my mother about the age of five that I must stop scribbling in her cookbooks. I was amazed that she'd even say that. And my father uh, emphasised this problem that the family had that, um, Esme, I'm, I'm rather concerned this boy might burst his brains. John Olson is probably known internationally for his energetic and exuberant painting style. He was born in Newcastle in New South Wales in 1928. Uh, he left school at the age of 15, working initially as a clerk and then later as a freelance cartoonist. He commenced formal studies in art, firstly at the Dottilo Rubo School in 1947, following this at the Julian Ashton School where he studied under John Passmore. John Passmore was a great teacher. John influenced me uh, in drawing, which I've never really forgotten, is that when you're looking at human figure, landscape, look at the structure of it, not the, at, not the outward appearance of it. Very, very important. I've never forgotten that. His work came to the attention of a broad audience, but in particular Sydney art critic Paul Haltfiger, who um, called to assist in his travel to Europe. I mean, to get out of Australia in 19, 1956 was such a sort of cutting off the umbilical cord. Uh, to be in Paris and to see these great, great pictures, and it had such an effect on me, and, uh, and, uh, and I've never changed. One of the things that really had a very big influence on me, I went down to Spain, which was very cheap, and there was the Mediterranean, the great tradition of Western art, Western philosophy was created. And I've never forgotten it. In fact, I wear a beret, um, which asserts that I'm still a Mediterranean person. When Olsen returned from his overseas travels in 1960, he embarked on his colloquial and exuberant series, The U Butte Country. He's an artist that has a very distinct view of the Australian landscape. Australia is such a large, unruly place. What I discovered, consequently, is it's best seen from the air, because it's there that you can see, for example, the dry creek beds, the nervous systems, which you were just on the ground, you don't see at all. You just witness a phenomenon. But when you fly over the landscape, that you begin to somehow see the wholeness, the essential untidiness, rivers that didn't go anywhere. Like to be an Australian writer, poet, you're an explorer. For a young artist, you've got to work out strategies that are going to leave you opportunities to express these fleeting moments. It doesn't matter what anybody tells you, oh, I don't like that part of your work. If you feel it, do it. How you feel is important and feeling makes style. But to follow your feeling, that's when you get an identity of self. <laughs>